Alright, we got our piece mounted up on a pallet on top of the uh, rotary table. And the pivot hole is the center of the rotary table. So we'll be rotating around that uh, eventually. First off, and I've lined this up now uh, parallel with the table of a mill. I'm going to mill off a little bit of this part here down to where the height is set here right now uh, because this part in the back here is only about a little less than a half an inch high. So we're going to mill that down first and then we're going to come in and cut the radius in here. quarter inch end mill and we're gonna I'm just gonna work my way down and turn a radius now I'm gonna be about 30,000 shy of the radius we want so we'll be able to come back to it I'm gonna be using the table feed uh, just a little more accurate and easier to do as far as coming up on the instead of using the quill. All right, this is really shiny, and it's very hard to see the uh, curved profile here. It's kind of cool. Look I'm down here from the top, and then it's also, you know, it's also sloped here in the front, but the back, you know, but it has a curved profile on the inside looking down on it. And then we have this little stop section here. And then uh, we'll, we need to put a hole in qu thread, quarter 20 here, right where I drew the circle. All right, we're just about, we're really getting there here. 
not much uh not a lot left to do we have a couple slots i'm gonna leave this thick i decided up here uh instead i have to do that radius uh there's no there's no reason to hog all this other metal out so i'm just going to leave this part this part here thicker and uh we'll put some slots in after we take the back of this out we'll put the slots in I'll do some uh, checking and measuring the drawing, and I think we're just about ready to take that bottom out. How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. So we're up to uh, the last phases here of this block. This is this is actually called the upper mid base uh, if you're interested and we are to the point where we need to get this this all this hashed area milled out as you can see it goes around and so that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is the pivot rod or pivot pin. That came out. I'm very happy with how that all came out and cutting that chamfer we did last time and the one on the bottom. And that just seats just in there, just perfect. And, I, and everything. That really, I'm really happy how this all came out. Then we did this feature here with the radius and our stop and our spot for the pin so that's uh so that's where we're at we're gonna go uh get this milled all out hogged out and we as we come down here we're gonna we're gonna have to come back because we're gonna leave a little uh it's a 60 thousandths protrusion by a hundred thousandths wide guide rail uh, in here so to fit in a groove Perfect finish on there, just perfect. We're about one thousandth over here, so and we're about one thousandth under here, so that's a, uh, that's uh, just fine.
There we go. There we go. Got a little deburn to do, but if we finish that up. Uh, that came out pretty doggone nice. Really like that radius there, huh? That came out good. The only thing I haven't done is put a stop screw right through this yet I'm not sure if I might mill a little more away probably not but when we get the other piece we'll see how that goes before we decide where or what we're going to do here about a, a screw uh, other than that it's all done put the logo on it I think it uh, came out really really well uh, as far as the going by the drawings and everything uh, kind of scratched around in there and got the radius out of there that came out okay a little little rough but that'd be hidden and of course I failed to stop at this point here and I carried this out to that point the angle but uh, it shouldn't matter uh, in the uh, I corrected the drawing and I just didn't print one, but it, it won't interfere with anything because of the piece, the way it, oh, here, it goes on here, obviously. You'll see here, now it really doesn't interfere with being there. So uh, I think we'll be okay with that. Uh, but otherwise, but the, the hole for the, where the nut ride, or just sit, is a reset for clearance, recess in here for the nut. It looks really good. Uh, we'll we'll just we'll drop that in there. See that that goes in there. It, you're going to pre-assemble this with the other piece uh, before you do this, and then that goes on here. Yeah, it rides in there, and yeah, nice clearance for down and underneath here. And that, that will go on with a couple bolts and you can adjust it up and down. So I think uh, I'm pretty happy with that, how that all came out. And then uh, this here, oh, the roller, goes on here. I don't know if we call it a roller, it doesn't roll, but we can, it's where the cam rides against. So uh, this piece is done. I, I'm, like I said, I'm going to call this done, and I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I think it's going to work out real, real well. You get it in the right spot, right? There we go. And uh, so one more piece to go, and we're good. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like this content, please support the channel. Uh, dovetail cutters and scribes, of course, that's uh, how I support the channel. And uh, email me for details. And I have everything, I have uh, stainless hex in, in stock. That's the only scribes uh, pretty much left. Uh, a couple round ones, and that's it. Uh, but mostly, I mean, I do have hex scribes in stock and cutters. So uh, please email me for details to to find out everything but thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching